This is the story of Mary Eliza Mahoney. She was a nurse. Mary grew up before the American Civil War as a free woman in Massachusetts. Though as a black man, her career options were limited. Mary knew that she wanted to be a nurse. When she was 18 years old, she started working at the New England Hospital for Women and Children, but she wasn't saving lives yet. She had to work as a cook and a scrubber. Although Massachusetts was a leading state in the anti-slavery movement, discrimination and segregation were still a way of life. The hospital, however, prided itself on the fact that it treated both black and white patients. It also had a nursing program that admitted one black student and one Jewish student per year. They considered this quite progressive. Mary worked on the hospital staff for 15 years before being admitted to the nursing program in 1878 at the age of 33. That year, 42 students were accepted, but only four graduated. Mary was one of them. As a private nurse, Mary had an incredible reputation as being patient and skillful. She traveled around the East Coast, and her work helped challenge racism in the South. She was soon inducted into the National or American Nurses Association, or ANA. In 1908, she helped support the founding of the National Association of Colored Graduate Nurses, which later named a major award in her honor. Mary's nursing career lasted 43 years. She was recognized as, as a pioneer and in 1976 was inducted into the ANA Nurses Hall of Fame. Her old hospital, the New England Hospital for Women and Children, renamed the Dimmock Center in 2007, features a new healthcare facility named after her, the Mary Mahoney Center. <laughs>